desert, one of the flattest patches of dirt on the planet. Eerily quiet and desolate, but today, that's about to change. It's an 800 mile hour car. Our basic mission is to bring the world land speed record back to North America. Ed Shadel is co-owner and driver of the North American Eagle. Our jet, our car, our insanity. Well, you have to be really focused. If you do it wrong, I mean, it can be a disaster. The current land speed world record is held by the British at 763 miles an hour. Two miles an hour faster than the speed of sound. In theory, the Eagle can beat that. But right now, the team is setting their sights on a closer target. The current FIA record is set in 65 by Lee Breedlove, the wife of Craig Breedlove, and that was set at 308 miles an hour. Today, Ed's handing his keys to a new pilot, Jesse Combs. She will guide the Eagle on its first steps toward world domination. I don't think you could get any better than that, to be able to hold the title of the world's fastest woman on wheels. For the North American Eagle, this record attempt has been years in the making. It all started back in 1999 when Ed bought a used F-104 Starfighter. We couldn't afford a good F-104, so I managed to find this one junkyard dog back in Maine. Some of the guys said, Ed, what are you thinking? Over a decade later, that fighter jet has been completely transformed. Instead of wings, it has five solid aluminum wheels capable of spinning at up to 15,000 RPM. The speeds are so high that they don't make tires that will stay on a wheel. Everything is tuned for top speeds, but the dusty desert floor is still no place for a jet. Like it's like a huge vacuum cleaner. Look at this. It's all just dust. We're doing serious damage to this thing. But that's land speed racing, man. We got to give her. And we got to go. And we got to get her done. <laughs> the car is running absolutely fantastic this week, so there should be no reason why we cannot break those records this week. With the car in position, the last bits of debris are cleared from the course. One of these stones could easily be sucked into the engine, and that would spell disaster, a word nobody on this team wants to hear. At the age I am, to have a living will is kind of weird. <laughs> but it's an absolute necessity, because you never know what could happen out here. So that's the nerve-wracking part. It's not the fact of going fast. That part doesn't scare me at all. It's the, what if something goes wrong? I found that I'm a very calm driver. My heart rate stays fairly consistent all the way through an entire race. It's good to have somebody that can remain calm and be able to stay focused if something does go wrong. This race course is eight miles long. The first five are for getting the 7,000 kilogram machine up to speed. The last three are for stopping. Full afterburner, the Eagle is pushing with over 43,000 horsepower. Fastest I've driven at this point is 211 miles an hour, but that didn't even phase me. I'm ready to take it to the next level. To nab the record, Jesse has to break 308 miles an hour. But that's not top speed. That's average over two different runs. At mile eight, they turn the car around, refill the tank, and fire back down the track. People like Jesse, they're to be admired because they're people who can really focus on a task and not be distracted by other things, be able to, to get the job done. You have plenty of time to be scared when the run's over. <laughs> With both runs complete, Jesse thinks she's got it. It felt amazing. Yeah. It was it, it was the coolest just, feeling I think I've ever had in my life. Just, Ooh. Just <laughs> <laughs> to get the average speed, data from the Eagles onboard GPS gets crunched. As they wait, the crowd is holding their breath. Hold record, 308 miles an hour. 
comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Did Jesse beat it? You are? 382.8. Woo! Not 400, but it's still really good. <laughs> it's been such a long struggle getting here and finally feeling some good job. real success is uh, so important to not just me, but the entire team. There's still loads more testing and tweaking before they attempt to crack the speed of sound, but today's success has definitely set that stage. It was Jesse setting this record. If we're lucky enough to have people support us so it doesn't you know, keep draining the pocketbook just to do this, it'd be nice, but it isn't going to stop us, and we're still going to do it no matter what.